Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to City Car Driving. Now this is the first time we're going to be having a look at a mod. So last time I introduced you to the game. Um, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description. Um, but today we're having a look at a Range Rover. So this is a mod on the Steam Workshop and I'll get you that in the description as well. So you can have a look at it. Um, specifically this is the supercharged version. So this is from 2008, it's quite old now, but it's still a Range Rover, it still looks awesome on the outside. Uh, well done to the mod creator on that. Inside, amazing again. Lots of chrome, lots of wood. Looks good. And yeah, even got a sunroof and everything. I don't think that works though. So. Uh, so we're in the new city, in the game. Um, let's start the engine. How does it sound? Well, not too bad. Put our seatbelt on and put the lights on because it's quite dark. So yeah, I mean, we're in autumn in the uh, new city in the game. Which is a little bit laggier than the last one, but there you go. The other one. Um, I'm sure that won't mind matter too much. Here we go, turn. Let's ignore the red lights. So yeah, that to me sounds like... When you, oh yeah, I think they've got custom sounds. Um, this car does have a lot of road noise, but it, oh, it goes. When you put your foot down, wow. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. God, losing control. Um, so it's automatic, as you can see. We've got a um, sat nav down there. Ooh. Got a sat nav, don't look at the sat nav. Um, Completely unrelated to the one at the top right, which is the actual sat nav, but there you go. It handles well. I like... This is a big, three-ton Range Rover. It says that this car can do 0-60 in 7.5 seconds as well. Which is... ridiculous. And look, look how the... Um, the dials go up in t in from 10, 30, 50, 70. Wow. So this is probably an American spec one because it's in miles per hour but also driving on the left. Oh, we're here. Here we are. Now, you can see on the dashboard it's on the right. So park over here. This may become a regular feature, filling up the car on this series. But there you go. And I'll tell you why, because every time you, you get a new car in this game, it requires you to fill it up. So there you go, and I don't know why that is. I'm not complaining, it's just it's a little bit more immersion. I like that. So yeah, around town, well, feels good. It's actually more nimble than you might think. Look at this guy. In his crappy old Chevrolet. We've got a Range Rover. I like the colour. I really like the colour. Kind of like nice blue. What is going on here? Appears to be a British police officer. Well, that's nice to see in the game, I suppose. Um... I'm not going to run him over because that's... Whoa! That's irresponsible, but there you go. Pharmacy. Mm. So yeah, the map in this game is alright. It's not amazing, but... Ah, let's go. Let's foot to the floor. It's not a race car, obviously. It's not a Ferrari and it's not a racing car, but... You know what? If we can get it onto a sort of higher speed road... Oh, oh, oh. Why not everyone? There you go. It corners. It does corner. I don't, that's probably a fault of the mod, to be honest. It, the real car almost certainly doesn't feel quite like this. But, look. It changes direction so quickly. Whoa! 
Whoa! That's a lamppost. So yeah, when you're in um, automatic on this, you have to use the brake to um, change gears sometimes, like to reverse and park, which is annoying, but I get that's actually how it works in a lot of automatics in the real world. There is a lot of wind noise and road noise, which is a bit annoying. Um, yeah, it, it cruises along. So what are we going here? Lots of knobs down there, look at that. All for the air conditioning. Oh yeah, it must be the Americans, it's in Fahrenheit. Uh, where should we go? On the motorway? No, that's we're off the motorway there, okay. We have so little fuel, I mean, this has got a massive V8, I reckon, at the front, and then a supercharger, it's just, the fuel consumption is going to be terrible. Here we go, oh, I didn't make it through. Okay, I didn't make it through the gap. We're alright though, we're alright. Whoa, why is that woman running across the road? Oh my god. There was a woman running across the road, she almost got run off the road, oh dear. Okay, oh. Brake, 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 brake! Oh, anti-stop brake's not doing well there, but there you go. So yeah, driving a bit crazy, but doesn't matter, it's a game. And, like I said in the last, the last time around, how often do people in this game really drive that seriously? Let's go here. Okay, my driving... At some point I will drive properly, but this is... It's just quite fun, you know. You, you can't do this in real life. I left. And a lot of those videos I see on YouTube have some very stupid driving as well. Oh! God, the brakes are too powerful. Hmm. What's this? Car wash. Is our car dirty? No, not at all. Hmm. We seem to be in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to have a look at what, I, what this is over here. Ah, this must be something in the game called the Defensive Driving School, which is quite interesting. Can we get in? Yes! Here we are. Let's see if we've got some, some exercises to do on the road. Oh, no. Let's go in here. So that, that clicking noise when I, when, I, when I brake hard, wait for it. That's the, meant to be the anti lock brakes. Of course, in real life, anti lock brakes don't make that noise, but... Okay, we're not meant to go in here. Um, if we go around the outside, we can have a look to see what this is. But I just don't know what this is. Is there a sign to sell us? Hmm. No signs. So of course Range Rover off-road vehicle. Um, would have been good to take it on the mountain road to be honest, but you know what, most of these cars, they spend their time in the city, so doing that is probably not very useful. Um, 40, okay, 40, 40, left. Oh, it's like a handling test. So when I find a better, um, when, I, when I find a really nice off-road car, we'll go to the mountainous area on the other map. We'll have a look at that. But yeah, I mean, these kind of cars, they're not really driven by people who go off-road, really, are they? Just spend the most of their time in the cities. Or on the motorways. Look at this. That is so, it's just the acceleration is so good. 
I'm not having to use a clutch though. I mean, it would be nice to have a uh, manual version, but I think that's not something this game has. Uh, not something this car has, sorry. Don't think there's a manual version of this, to be honest. Well, here we are then. Let's uh, park it up. That's just van. Are we going to fit in there? Yes. So there you go. That is my little re review and drive of the Range Rover. It's really good. I'll leave a link to it on, in the description. And um, yeah, this is just one of the many hundreds of cars you can get on Steam. Uh, additional to the standard cars in the game. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And hopefully we'll get something a little bit more sport, a, bit, a little bit sportier. But I was actually quite impressed with how how well this car handled. So I'll see you next time on Simulator Adventures.